Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Wizardry 7 Crusaders of the Dark Savant. Last time, we uh, we did it. We finally made our way to Monkorama and uh, we met uh, Brother Tshober on the way as well. And he gave us a, uh, a crank, which I'm not sure if we still have or not. Yeah, there we go. Cable trolley here. Um, we use that to cross the river and uh, get... Yeah, basically across this bridge, which no longer exists. So, uh, yeah, but we, we made it across. There's some other stuff that maybe we missed on the way, like uh, Aaron Bay over here. But uh, we'll perhaps come back to that uh, at, a, at another time. Uh, for now, we're going to explore this city a little bit, I think. And uh, we'll just <laughs> just see what we can see, I guess. Oh, should we start going in buildings immediately? Why not? Okay. All right. So we got some some bad monks here. I guess we should expect to see quite a few of them before we're done. They do look like they're relatively low level. Most of them, maybe. And I've got some Gorn in the back as well. well let's see here. I think, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's just do a little bit of this action. Just a, a little bit of buffing here. To uh, make sure we don't have any real problems. No idea if any of these guys are going to cast any magic at us as well. So, uh... We could have you, like, I wonder if we can put some of them to sleep, and we'll just get a, uh, a bless going like that. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and just start swinging at these, uh, these guys here. This shouldn't, shouldn't be too much, <laughs> too much of a problem, I don't think. Yeah, okay. Killing them with like 30 points of damage, so uh, I think we got this. They can hit us, but not for very much damage. Um, so yeah, here in the city, we're looking for uh, what Brother Cho uh, Chober told us about, which was um, the holy work. And uh, he mentioned that there are some unpleasant monks. Some dark monks from the dark forest, uh, who are uh, causing some shenanigans, spreading spreading around uh, some profanity, etc. Um, so yeah, we're we're gonna keep an eye out for that. See if we can find that. Um, and then once we get it, we need to go to brother uh, or not brother, but uh, master. Don't know. I think it, I'm gonna pronounce it Sheng. It's X X H E N G, Master Sheng. Um. Yeah, he's uh he's gonna be interested in acquiring said work for reasons really unbeknownst to us, <laughs> but whatever. Um so yeah. And we may we may even meet uh Shang before we get the work. He's around here somewhere, I assume. And now uh, then we also heard about a brother, um Moser. I believe his name was something like that. Who makes uh makes really bad tea? Works at the uh, the apothecary here in the town, so we'll keep an eye out for him as well. Okie dokie. Holy City Monkarama. Um So I guess I'm guessing this is where we're gonna find the uh the holy work. We'll come back this way in a bit. Uh, well, actually, I didn't want to leave all the way. Yeah, here we go. Let's go in this door instead and just take a look. But uh, yeah, it was mentioned that uh, the the area where the holy work is is flooded. So uh, we will probably be doing some swimming in the not too distant future. I, if I had to guess. This is what all our practice is, uh, has been for, I guess. <laughs> but 
But uh, we probably won't be going after the holy work just yet. Uh, we've still got a lot of city to explore. It's probably in our best interest to do that. Maybe there will be some shops here. I hope so. And then uh, we'll be able to uh, you know, maybe get some better equipment. Maybe not. We'll, we'll see. But for now, at least these fights are easy. It's what I like to see. Not getting a ton of XP, of course, but uh, I guess that's to be expected. We're just going to do a little bit of uh, stamina casting here to keep us on our feet for a bit longer. It should be fine. All right. This brings us out to like another courtyard type area, I guess, or the side yard. I don't know. Some kind of yard. Some windows in this building, which we have not gone into. Oh, I see. Okay. So we do it. We have to go south. <laughs> All right. Well, we can see what's going on in this uh, section up here. Maybe this is like a temple or something. It's a pit. Well, I'm not <laughs> I'm not jumping in the pit. Not just yet. We'll come back to that. Uh for now, let's explore the holy city instead, I guess. Not uh really a whole lot else that we can do. We are actually out of buffs here. Uh so I don't feel too bad about I think we'll just fight these guys. Yeah, I don't feel too bad about resting now. We'll just uh Get her stamina back real quick, and then put up another Detect Secret and be on her way. Because it doesn't seem like these enemies are, so far, all that tough. In fact, given the kind of enemies that we're fighting, I would say that we're, so far, uh, in for an easier time than... Uh, than we would normally have. I uh, also just realized I did not have the sound on. <laughs> My apologies once again. So uh, these ruffians are a little bit tougher, but not tougher enough, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just save the game. And uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that camping real quick, I think. And that should be good. Uh, let's see here. Wishes he would get more mental magic back. Uh, who's got the most? I've actually been using quite a bit of it. Uh, but I think, I guess we'll have you do it. All right. Seems like when I, ever since I've changed the sound effects, ooh, attached to the door is half a brass goblet cupping a small slot in the door latch. Huh. There's a lot of sound coming. I was going to say, ever since I um, changed the uh, the sound effects to the, uh, the the better version, it seems like there's they play a lot more. But that also lags the interface, because you can't click on anything until... The, uh, the sound effect is finished. Alright, so we can't get through that. Okay. Bit of a fight. Um, I'm gonna try to run from these ones. Or you just, I guess I could just re reload the game.
There we go. Uh, that's that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with a half of a brass goblet on a door. Just uh, taking a quick look at the uh, the old inventory, but none of it's really standing out to me. So I think we'll we'll come back to this in a bit. For now, it's just upon a pedestal of rock, there is a Viridian urn, its base embedded within the rock itself. The urn is decorated with many designs and strange symbols and several similar runes that have been engraved in the rock around it. Uh huh. I'm assuming we're gonna have to do something here, but uh, no idea what just yet. Well, there were actually there were some some uh, urns in the the Dane area, which we put uh, Jonga powder in. So I guess maybe. Uh, maybe we, uh, we could try some Jonga powder in one. I would be surprised if it did anything. Uh, all right, there's, uh, there's quite a few guys here. Let's go ahead and hide. We still still have the itching skin on us, which is a bit annoying, but uh, we should be able to to power through. I think. All right, let's go ahead and just do one of those. Just do our standard, uh, you know. A little bit of uh, buffing here. I don't think we need a magic screen, actually, though. So, uh, what do you what do you think you do? We'll try one of these. Maybe the buffs won't even be necessary. Let's do that. And then uh, I I don't know. Just uh, rest for a second. <laughs> We'll see if this asphyxiation gets us anywhere. It sure does. <laughs> oh, one of them survived. All right, fair enough. Not for long, though. All right, let's go ahead and we'll save... And uh, another thing here. Yeah, half a brass goblet covering a small slot in the door latch. Didn't search the other one. I'll search this one just to, just to see. But yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything there. Um, Yeah, I guess we'll have to, have to think about that. And then it looks like we've got another urn here. Golden urn. Many designs and symbols and runes, etc. Okay. So those are going to be important for something, I assume. Let's go ahead and just get that square, and then we can swing around like this. There we go. There's the uh, itchy skin taken care of. Oh, I see. There's going to be four of them, maybe. So it would seem. Oh, uh, a cuprum urn. All right, so there's a different... But uh, they all have designs and strange symbols. Hang on. Apparently I missed... Uh, oh, a waft of bittersweet smoke lazily drifts from out of the window. After sniffing for a moment, you begin to feeling a bit plucky. <laughs> Is that so? Interesting. And nothing there. Okay. Uh, just some ruffians. I think we'll just we'll just fight these guys. We can probably just take them out. So this uh, the city so far is a little a little bit different than I I thought it was or thought it would be. But uh, we haven't explored everything yet, so I guess we'll we'll see how it goes. This might might end up being uh, not really a city at all, and more like the Dane Tower. Um, hopefully not as difficult, <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll we'll find out soon enough. Which means there still could be a shop here of some kind, but uh, 
It won't necessarily be like New City or anything like that. Okay. Just going to finish exploring outside here before we check out these uh, these rooms. Okay, we got a silver urn with designs and strange symbols, etc., etc. Okay. Fair enough. No smoke out of that one. And we've got a bit of an impasse here. Okay. So we'll probably be going for a swim before too long. Let's take a look uh, at what we have in here. I'm going to guess it's going to be more doorbell urn things. Ooh, this one's filled with birds. Uh, let's just fight them. It's probably is the safest option. And yeah, they're not too bad. So as they'll start breathing a bunch of fire and shit, I think we'll be all right. <laughs> They are kind of tough, though. They can hit us. Oh, we turned one to stone. I guess uh, he's he's hovering now somehow. <laughs> eh, it doesn't matter. Okay, good stuff. I'm actually curious. Uh, how close are we to levels on people? Very close, actually. Uh-huh, 200,000. It's gonna be a bit. 300, 300,000? Yeah, it's gonna be a bit. So you see why I did all the shenanigans with the leveling and everything through uh, the playthrough so far? Oh, this one doesn't have a thing. But we still can't go in. Now, of course, we could try and pick these locks, but uh, I'm not gonna do that just yet. Holy City, I'm guessing this is going to be just the other exit to the city. No fight? Really? Oh, we got one anyway. <laughs> Alright, selection of monks here. These might be dark monks. Hard to say for sure. Yep. <laughs> These ones are kind of nasty. Seem like they get a lot of attacks anyway. But at least the Lima didn't get blinded, so that makes our life much, much easier. Since she is one of our main damage dealers. There we go. I do wonder if those uh those dark monks can crit as well. Since they're doing punches and kicks, and that means, you know, monks are uh ninja, which means Kirijitsu potentially. Although we are a fair bit higher level than them, so the chances of it assuming the calculations work the same both ways, the chances of them actually landing a crit on us. Or not that good, I imagine. Alright, we've got a potion here. I guess we'll take a look at that. And we got ourselves a level. Alright. Um, axes, I guess, yeah. Physical. So we were giving you skullduggery. Firearms. And uh, I think we were giving you some more crit, as I recall. The Lord spell. Um, he doesn't have armor plate yet. That might be worth getting. Actually, you know what? We're gonna get him sane mind instead. I think. Cause you, you never know when you're gonna need more people with that spell. Okay. Yeah. So only one door didn't have one of those things as far as I can tell 
And uh, this, I assume, leads us out of the city. So we could follow that path, and uh, it would take us back to Ukpir, I'm pretty sure. And we may do that still, because there's probably something to find on the way. Um, I don't know what it is. So there's an area there, I guess. Yeah, let's, let's check that out. We should have enough stamina. We got a statue here. Standing at the statue, uh, it appears more jovial than before. I don't recall ever seeing anything. Okay, well, anyway, the stone looks fresh as if it were carved only yesterday, although a thick layer of rust around its base suggests it's been here a long time. Gazing up into the face of the majestic figure, you detect a faint smile, and its eyes seem to almost twinkle. Ooh, detect, detect something. Let's search. Scraping off the thick rust, you unearth a metal plate at the foot of the statue engraved as follows. Builder of the Temple. Perhaps. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to dig here, but we'll give it a try. Nope. Anything else that we can use? All right, let's take a look at this. An acid bomb. I guess we can toss that at somebody at some point. Give that to you, maybe. Um, yeah, none of this is looking like what we want to use. I mean, we have, we have all these stones. We did, we got a stone from the base of one of these. Um, bonsai tree, <laughs> we've got the cross of protection still. I, I don't think that's an item that's... Intended to be used, I think it's just a... I think it's just a... An accessory slot item or whatever. But we can give it a try. I think, wait, was it you who has it? So, uh, I forget. No, Elise has it. No effect. Alright, didn't think so. Um, Try searching this again, see if anything happens. Yeah, okay. Not exactly sure what we missed before. Okay. So that's it. We've got a we've got a statue here. So we probably want to try to leave This way, uh, but we probably also want to rest. I guess we don't have to rest. We could just cast stamina, but I guess I mean we lost our detect secret anyway, so I guess we'll just rest for a minute here. And I will try going for a swim over to the east. Okay. We do have all these rocks. I mean, well, we only have we only have a few of them. We could try using one. Let's just see what happens. Uh, not from the screen, though, of course. Yeah, let's just go back to here. Just, uh... Just a shot in the dark. Yeah, okay, so... Nothing there. Inside the window, you catch a glimpse of a red room monk doing something in the corner. He looks a bit nervous. Hmm. So I guess we can look in some of these windows. Uh, let's see if we can get through here, though. Um, let's rest one more time. And we'll start using magic or maybe some of our stamina potions. To kind of keep going. Okay, that should be good. There's a chest here. Hmm. 
Let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's search first. Okay. Well, uh, Divine Trap. And let's see if we can disarm it. So we've got that pattern there. Looks like it's going to be a, ooh, a spectral ray. It's dangerous. Well, we made it through. We got one object. <laughs> Some XP. We will take said object. Is this the holy work? Was it that easy? A rubber white bear. What? <laughs> Why? Why is that here? It's got some kind of a special power. No resistances. Uh, okay, well, let's save the game. And uh, what happens if we use it? Who knows? <laughs> let's not use it just yet. Um, we will take this opportunity to rest here again. And, uh, I guess we'll see if we can <laughs> make any further progress in here or what. There is, uh, there is certainly more to be seen. Got, uh, even a couple areas on the sides here. Um, let's check those out. We should, uh, absolutely... Let's rest again. Then we'll do a detect secret, I think. Okay, looks good. And, uh, yeah, just... What am I doing? Uh, there we go. Tech secret. We're getting some magic points back. <laughs> Finally, it kind of feels like with all this resting. Uh, so there is that at least. So this just kind of connects up. Fair enough. Waiting area. Polar monk society. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's save and just. Uh, you enter the frigid waters. It is shallow enough to stand on the bottom of the pool which you quickly begin to shiver. Party options. Practice swimming or get out while you can. Try to move rapidly to build up body heat. You flail and kick and splash. Took a bit of damage. After a few moments, however, you decide to emerge before freezing. So I guess we can, we can trade uh, HP for swimming skill here. Um... What, uh, where's, what's our skill even at? Is it physical? 49? So, if he, he's at 49, let's just save the game again. Okay. So we go in and uh, we look again. Yeah, we're only getting one point, so... I'm not gonna load the game. We'll keep we'll keep the uh, two points of swimming, even even though it's probably not worth it. But interesting to know that that's there at the very least. Okay, so this leads us perhaps to one of the windows where we saw a monk doing some some funny business, actually. Should check on Gertrude's uh, firearms skill. Actually, now that I think about it, she's got to be getting up there. Yeah, she's at a hundred. Okay, so that that is going to necessitate some changes, gear wise. Let's get her the the Minad's lance now. 
I'm not going to invoke the special power because I don't know what it is <laughs> off the top of my head. Um, yeah, so she can hang under the mystery ray, I guess, but we actually should be able to take this and give this to Nurb, now that I think about it. Uh, and then maybe we can give you the bullwhip to just, uh, just hang on to it. Because I think this he can use the Spear of Death. No? Oh, no, Bards can't use it. That's a bummer. That is a definite bummer. I was hoping he would uh, he would get a weapon upgrade here, but I guess not. Uh, is there anybody else who could use it? I mean, I guess maybe you could. I don't have a shield for you, but it's probably better than the stun rod. So I guess let's do that instead. And, uh, yeah, we'll just equip that. Uh, we'll take that. Okay. So that should be all fine. But, uh, hey, at least uh, we've got a, another heavy hitter on the team. Which makes uh, four people now who can basically just swing and, <laughs> and murder everything. Oh, Brother Moser's Apothecary. Okay. Well, we definitely want to go in there. Let's just finish exploring the outside real quick. And actually, I think that's it. Okay. Shelves of crusty jars and dusty boxes line the walls inside the shop, and a stiff, acrid odor fills the air. A middle-aged monk looks up from some concoction he is brewing and motions you to enter. Stepping up, your eyes feel a slight burning sensation which makes them water, apparently from the intensity of his mixture. Nothing like a good cup of mustard bat tea, eh? <laughs> Perhaps you'd be interested in a bottle or two. But no, I'd say by <laughs> looking that you'd be wanting something a bit stronger than tea. <laughs> Brother Moser. What have you got to sell? Various healing potions. Many potions, actually. Visibility potion. Lots of powders, crushed widows, and Moser's Mojo Tea. Well, it says it's special, so we'll definitely buy one. Oh, we don't have enough money. Uh, let's pool the money. We've got plenty of it. Let's buy one of those. I'm a little bit curious as to what that is. But it's a bit bit on the expensive side. I don't want to waste money on it unnecessarily. Uh, so I think we'll we'll stick with that for now. And perhaps we can have a little chat here. Hello. Uh, who are you? Brother Moser, what do you do? Maker of magical mixtures? What mixtures? Don't know about that. Um do you know Trover? Brother Trover, guardian of the bridge. Do you know Zhang? Or Shang? Possesses inhuman powers. Where is he actually? It's whispered that he teaches a secret school somewhere. Okay. To find it, you must pass through the land of dreams. Uh, okay. Where is the land of dreams? Know ye the place where dreamers go? Where do dreamers go? I mean, to sleep, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> is all I can think of. Uh, no. Know ye the land of dreams? Do I get... How do I... How do I dream? Maybe yes. O oh, land of the dreamers, what be thy name? Hmm. Land of the dreamers, what be thy name? Uh. When you know the place of the dreamers, I shall tell you more. Okay, so there's there's a little thread to tug on here for sure. 
Um, we don't know the land of the dreamers, though. Um, where? Oh, I really, I doubt he's going to know anything. But deep in the northeast forest, how do I enter? Yeah, okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? Heard any rumors? About secret school. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So nothing we can do there. Uh, I don't think there's much else I want to ask him. Okay, well, do you know Ruli? Been a long time since you've seen him. Uh, what about... Lord of the House of Dane. Yeah, okay. Just figured I'd ask. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody else that we really need to ask about right now, though. Uh, so I think we'll, we'll leave him be. Um, but we will try... Yeah, secret school. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's leave him be for now, and let's take a look at this tea that we picked up. Magic food. Two out of five. Well, let's see what happens when we drink a little bit of it. happened we'll uh we'll hang on to it for now it may have something to do with how we get to uh the land of dreams though all right a bit of a, f a fight here oh it's relic okay hello what are you doing? Search for the Terang fortifications. Terang are in Nyctalent. Tritus is on the loose. <laughs> okay, don't say I didn't warn you, man. <laughs> uh, any rumors? Yeah, okay, what about... We just we just told you a rumor. I think we're getting grifted here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he is. I really, really don't think he is, my man. Fine, we get another flak jacket. I don't think we need one, though. He's got more, uh, more bullets, but I think we'll just leave him be. And uh, we'll go check out whatever this is. Uh, this is going to lead us to one of the bell doors, maybe? Or goblet doors, rather? I'm think I feel like they might be bells. But uh, we don't have anything to ring them with. Although I, it says there's like a slot as well, so... I don't know. I, the only thing that we have that would go in a slot would be like the wafer that we have. Which I don't think has anything to do with... Anything we've seen here so far, but I could be wrong. Maybe we should have hidden on this one. That's all right. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that actually. We'll go ahead and just hide from these guys for a sec. <laughs> Give them time to run away. Okay. Um, well, we can't fight that group, but we can fight this one instead. So we'll let you guys fight. Uh, I think we'll have you... Give us one of those, and we'll have you give us one of those. Good stuff. Okay. 
Okay, uh, yeah, let's just finish these guys off as best we can. I guess Nerb's gonna attack that second group there. Probably not gonna get very far, but that's all right. Oh, there we go. I guess, uh, yeah, that last one ran away. Uh, in that one group there. And another potion. I don't think we are really going to need these potions. I should have sold the other one, but... Yeah, we got a fire bomb. Let's... Give that... Actually, fire bomb is not the same as a cherry bomb, now that I think about it. It uh, does firestorm. That's actually a bit better. Potentially. Not exactly sure what level it's going to be cast at, so... There is that. Hello. Ah, okay, so yeah, we can uh, uh, more easily get access to this area again. Um, that doesn't really help us, <laughs> I don't think. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess it's it's not bad. Oh, it's you again. Oh, uh, no, we're just going to leave you be. Silver urn. So what if we use some of that tea here? Or even the, maybe the bear? Nope. Nothing happened. Uh, let's try. No. I don't know if that's going to consume the bear, so I'm just going to... Reload the game. Oh, the way, did I actually use it to... Hang on. <laughs> Completely blanked out in the past few seconds. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Um, well, one of the thing to do really is... Brass Goblet cupping a small slot. In the door latch. Who's got... We do still have the chrome key as well, now that I think about it. Got the black wafer. Who's got the black wafer? Let's, let's try that. No. And, uh... No. So I do have one idea. We could... Uh, Cruise over to here, just like so. And uh, try using the bear here. No, no effect. Okay, then, yeah, I, uh, I'm not really entirely sure uh, what to do there. But I'm going to get back across this uh, this river again. There we go. Yeah, so I think um, we need to figure out what to do with these urns and uh, what to do with uh, with this tea or, or def how, how we're going to find the land of dreams as well, I guess. Yeah, because if we can't get through those uh, those doors, we're not going to get very far. We could uh, we could certainly try picking locks, and that's probably going to be the next step. Um, just to see if we can get in that way. Uh, for the particularly for the one door that didn't have one of those uh, those goblet things on it. So uh, I think that that might be our path forward. We'll find out next time though, as we continue to explore uh, the holy city here.